Hello students, this is a video of biology grade 12 and in this video I will discuss with you about the second unit of grade 12. As in my previous video I already discussed with you the important question of unit 1 of grade 12. So today the continuation of the previous video I will discuss with you the second unit important question and the de deleted chapter 2. So let's start with today's video students. So students in second unit, the name of the unit is genetic and evolution. But unfortunately evolution is not in the syllabus right now. It is deleted. So it become only what a genetics. <laughs> okay. So in genetics we are having the two chapters students. The first one is principle of inheritance and variation. Okay, now in principle of inheritance and variations, we mostly get question of 2 marks and 5 marks. If I talk about previous 5 years paper, we always get a question of 2 marks from this chapter and also sometimes 3 marks and 5 marks definitely we will get one question from this. Now come to the thing then what is important in this chapter. You will get a question mostly on what do you mean by dominance? Explain the law of dominance. Explain the law of independent assortment. Why Mendel choose pea plant? That is some basic questions which always come in the exam. What do you mean by incomplete dominance? What do you mean by epistasis? These kinds of questions mostly come from this chapter. Apart from it in genetics there are number of crosses. They can give you any of the like uh, you can say ratio phenotypic ratio, genotypic ratio and they will ask you to let us know which cross it is. Okay, even sex determination cross in humans is come from this chapter. So this is a very very important chapter and it is also easy one because if you have an idea of different crosses, how we are able to make it, what we have to do, what is a phenotypic ratio, what is a genotypic ratio. So it is easy for you to make it. That is a simple 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 way. Okay, so mostly this chapter which we called as principle of inheritance and variation is very important chapter, easy to, but you need a little concentration on it. Okay, the next chapter is molecular basis of inheritance. In this chapter, the question is just like, why DNA shows semi-conservative type of replication? What do you mean by replication? Griffith experiment. What do you mean by transcription? What do you mean by translation? You will get these types of question. Operon, the very very important question. What do you mean by operon? Why operon is important? There are two types of operon. Explain them. What is the role of structural gene in operon model? So these are some basic concepts which you will get. And if I will let you know mostly in this chapter, you will not get the question of 5 marks. But you will get the question of 2 to 3 marks, right? So mostly this chapter compromises 5 to 6 marks in a question paper. And if I talk about principle of inheritance and variation in that chapter, that is acquired 7 to 8 marks for a particular question paper. So you have an idea now. But there is one thing students, now there is no evolution. Before that evolution is 4 to 5 marks chapter also. We are getting question for it. So now this for and 5 marks question will adjust it will adjust in these types of question means it will adjust in molecular basis of inheritance it will adjust in principle of inheritance and variation so just think upon it as it is a really easy topic easy unit if you spend a little bit time of yours and try to understand or grasp the knowledge this is really a good chapter for you all you have to learn it, you have to revise it. In a nutshell, if I will let you know, in the second unit, genetics, there are only two chapters. First is a principle of basis of inheritance and the second one is molecular basis of inheritance. Both the chapters are important one and it has, a, if I will let you know, it consists of 15 to 16 marks of your paper. So you have to prepare accordingly. This is all about this video students. I hope you understand this and this will help you in your future exam. 
all the best prepare hard learn in a good way any help you require just let me know via inbox message or via comment box thank you very much for your time and support in the next video i will discuss with you about the chapter about the next unit unit number third and fourth what are the important question what chapters are deleted i hope you understand this thank you very much bye bye